I know our topic was supposed to be what inspired us, and I had a hard time coming up with what really inspired me. Um, but one of the things uh, was that I grew up in Burbank, California, really under the shadow of Disney Studios. And for that reason, I had no interest in animation. But um, when I was in college, I saw a, a Czech animated film called The Hand by Jury Trinka. And it was an adult film, and in, in the best sense of the word, um, but it was about um, the artist in a totalitarian state. And at that point, uh, Czechoslovakia was under the rule of the Soviets. So the idea that animation could be something beyond entertainment uh, really appealed to me. And at the time, I was in the School of Architecture at the U of O, and it's such a long program that it really gives you time to become interested in just about anything else. And so I started um, uh, doing animated paintings. So I would work um, directly in front of the camera, and as Will said, uh, working with bits of clay, shooting, then um, changing the single image and shooting again. And so, Basically, the process became the product. So rather than ending up with uh, one painting or a thousand paintings, um, you ended up basically just with a roll of film, which meant that storage was much easier than ending up with you know, rooms full of canvases. Um, so one thing that did uh, really inspire me and my films is 20th century painting. And the first clip I'm going to show is basically, it, well, it was called Mona Lisa Descending a Staircase, and it is a history of 20th century painting. And I narrowed that to the human face um, in 20th century painting. Um, and the section I picked out is the German Expressionist uh, section, and I picked that out in part because I know MoMA has a show of German Expressionists going on now. But if you'd roll that clip, 